to Sesame Street is like a movie write your own ending keep believing and keep pretending we've done just what we set out to do thanks to the lovers the dreamers and you by jim henson felt a new film interior television children's show set the stoop a small child sits with a giant puppet polar bear we seem to be watching them through a television screen Hi there! What's your name? Noah. Noah? How old are you, Noah? Four. Four? How many is that? Wow! You're really smart, Noah. Thank you. Do you know what opposites are? Mm -hmm. Things that are different from other things, like... Uh, uh, up and... Down. That's right! Let's try another one. Left and... Right! Right! Uh, I mean, uh, correct! Oh, dear. <laughs> You're silly, Polly. Oh, I am silly. I'm definitely not... Uh, uh, what's the opposite of silly? Serious. That's right! You really are smart, Noah. Want to do another one? Yeah! Bad. Good. Good! Um, I mean <laughs> right! Uh, I, I mean left! Uh, oh! Uh, Noah, what does it mean to be good? When you have good manners like please and thank you, and you're nice to other people, and you aren't mean. And when you're a good sport, even when you don't get what you want. How are you good, Noah? When I help my friends with something, or when I don't talk back to my mommy and daddy, when I'm the best Noah that I can be. That's a good answer. Uh, no, it's a great answer. Thank you. See? You are good. You said thank you. I did. Thank you for saying thank you. You're welcome. Can I have a hug? Yeah! Noah excitedly gives the puppet a hug, who hugs in return. <gasps> you give good hugs, too! So do you. Oh, I love you. And I love you, Polly Polar Bear, because you are good, too. We fade away from the TV show to various locations, catching the lives of all the cast members. 
First, we see Marion having the most dull sex you've ever seen with Douglas in their home. Well, for her, duh. He seems to be super into it. She is clearly bored and faking it, but only we can see her face. Her eyes scroll the room. She looks at pictures, counts tiles. Her eyes land on the TV set where a female actress is being interviewed by a late night host. She watches them for a hair too long, fantasizing, closes her eyes, then seems more into it. Cut to Charlotte making her coffee. She checks to see if no one is looking, then dumps liquor into it, stirs. Someone appears behind her, and it is revealed that she's in an office. We then see Joy rolling a joint in a handicapped stall. Someone knocks, which annoys her. She holds the door closed with one hand and finishes rolling the joint with the other. Next, we see Deja on the street. Someone drops a wallet. She picks it up, looks through it, thinks. Charlotte again. The person finally leaves and she proceeds to pour more liquor into her drink and downs a big gulp. Then we see Declan opening up his bathroom cabinet. It's filled with prescription pills that he needs. He pops the lid off of one and swallows it with no water. We cut to Jenkins at a coffee shop trying to approach a woman. He completely beefs it. So naturally, he eats his baked good in one bite. We see Deja, again this time returning the wallet to someone's home. They thank her and give her a few bucks as a reward. Their apartment door closes, and as she walks away, she pockets the money, but it also shows that she's kept one of the credit cards. Sean making out with someone at a packed bar outside the bathroom. Later, we see him stumble into work, grab the polar bear puppet, and duck behind the same stoop from the show. Douglas leaves Marion and his apartment, gives Marion a kiss before he goes. The door closes. She looks relieved. The final shot we see is Marion heading into the children's show studio. Charlotte is on a headset toward the back of the room while they film. She notices Marion first. You're late. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Maybe like next time, just don't do it. I won't. I really don't feel like watching anyone else get fired this week. How many people got fired this week? Enough for me to say that sentence. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Douglas had a work trip and I- I'm sorry, who? Douglas, my boyfriend? I think you're mistaking me with someone who gives a shit. Oh. All right, coffee is running low, so you're gonna wanna fix that. Okay, yeah, of course, on it, in a jiffy. Also, it's weird that you call the apparent love of your life Douglas. But that's his name? What else should I call him? I mean, Doug, Dougie, Honeybun, anything would be better. Douglas sounds like you're cold calling him, trying to sell him timeshares, or reprimand him, which, who am I to kink Shane? But, uh, still. Coffee? Right. Marion starts to walk away. Did you seriously say in a jiffy? Uh, yeah. Like, non-ironically? Yeah. Weird. I guess I'm just weird then. In case you haven't noticed, we're a bunch of grown ass adults playing pretend here. We're all a bit weird. Coffee. Marion hurries off to tend to the coffee dispenser. She passes by the other cast members as she does so, some filming and some not. Marion takes it all in, especially the puppet scene work. Polly Polar Bear? Sorry. I'll be right there. Look, friends at home, it's Dust Bunny. Hiya, Polly. Oh, my, Dust Bunny, your fur is all messy. Are you okay? No, no, I'm not, Polly Polar Bear. I promised Mama Bunny that I would do chores for her by the end of the day. Then Daddy Dust Me asked me to finish dr dirtying up under the chairs because we have company coming over, and I'm just feeling overwhelmed. Oh, dear. That does sound like a lot. Did you tell them how you're feeling? No, I don't want to make them unhappy by not doing everything because I will let them down. 
Oh, that does sound like a very... That does not sound like a very good feeling at all. What is this feeling, Polly Polar Bear? Well, I'm just a humble polar bear, but to me, that sounds an awful lot like worry. Worry? Can you say it with me, Dust Bunny? You too, friends at home, say it with us. Worry. worry. In the back and off to the side, two puppeteers chat. Jenkins is the kind of guy who always seems eight energy drinks deep. Marion has finished setting up the coffee canister and is now tidying up spaces around the room. I'm just like really stressed, you know? You're stressed all the time. I'm stressed all the time. And it's like, sometimes I feel like, you know, that scene in the first Star Wars movie? No. Not the first one out of the new ones or the other new ones. It's with the original first one. No. Like that scene where Han, Luke, and Leia are in the trash compactor and that sewage and the walls begin to close in on them. Who? Who and who? And they're closing, you know, like this. And I'm here in the middle stuck and they're like little by little closing and there's nothing I can do to stop it, you know? No, but that's not good. I, I can't put it into words. What's it called? And when you're worried. I don't know. But you should probably talk to someone who is uh, qualified to handle this sort of thing. Like someone who is paid to. Like a therapist, maybe? I did. He stopped answering my calls. Jenkins eats a baked good in one bite. Uh, can I can I get a coffee when you have a second? Cream, no sugar. Me too. Skim. Me too. Skim with five sugars. He walks off. Better make that no sugars. Marion nods. Back at the craft service table, she pours the coffees, paying special attention to get it right. She goes back and forth with Jenkins' cup. Does he do what she want or what Deja requested? She decides to split the difference. Coffee? Marion gasps and turns suddenly so to rush over and collides with Annie. She wears big glasses and seems to be a bit eccentric. Marion's eyes land on her and everything seems to go in slow motion. For a brief moment, we're brought to another world, one with puppets. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. All over my brand new blouse. I'm really sorry. I, uh, I, I have water and soap. You can get cleaned up. Just over there? I also have a phone. I'm confident that in five minutes we can have you spick and span and back on set again. Annie puppet glares. A pause. If that's what you want to do... All right. What do you mean, just off the seven? Give it to me in feet. Uh, it's not very far. There's my apartment. Marion points. Suddenly, her apartment, which isn't close at all, is right there, in miniature version. Well, okay. That should be fine. I'll just call my boyfriend so he knows we'll swing by. Annie Puppet gives her a glare. The fantasy comes crashing down. Back to real life in the present moment. No music, no movie scene to cheat off of. Nothing. Oh, gosh. I, oh, no. I'm, uh, uh, hot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, wait. Sorry. Here. It's okay. I've got it. Such a spaz. No worries. It happens. I didn't know you were right behind me. Well, I... Didn't think you had it out for me and did it on purpose. <laughs> Annie smiles a moment. Sorry. Yeah, you said that. Sorry for, uh... Saying sorry? <laughs> it's okay, really. Accidents happen. Hey! Hey! Charlotte's approaching. What did I say about not wanting to see more people get fired this week? I thought you were kidding. I was. Now I'm not. Charlotte notices the mess. Oh, no. I'm fine, Charlotte. 
Charlotte bends down to pick up the cue cards, which is what she was actually worried about. They're covered in coffee and smudging. They're ruined. These need to get rewritten now. Couldn't Sean just use the teleprompter just for today? No, Polly the polar bear can't. He only reads off the cards. He likes it that way. So you better fix these ASAP before they shoot the next scene and, and he's going to throw a fit and I am going to lose. Yeah, what else fired this week? Y yeah, yeah. It seems silly that we do this for one guy. Yeah, well, when you're America's number one puppet polar bear, you can afford to be a dick. May we all be so lucky. Also, like, for you, isn't it nice to have some job security? I guess. I, I guess. Spoken like a true millennial. We should all live in your world of I guess. Marion, go with a gnat and fix these. Huh. Marion. Net. Marionette. Cute. Huh? Go! Charlotte picks up one of the left behind ruin cards and reads it. <laughs> that, 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 that is a good line. I am a genius. Cut to Marion and Annie in the puppet workshop using a sink. Here, let me take a look at that. She begins to work. Annie lets her. So, do you make a habit out of this? Huh? Spilling coffee on your coworkers? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. You're the first. I guess I should be honored then. Maybe you should. It's nice to be first at something. I guess it is. An awkward pause. I'm Annette. I know. Huh? We worked together. Yeah, but a lot of people work here. That doesn't mean you know everybody's name. We're all kind of ships in the night sometimes, you know? Yeah. Awkward. My friends call me Annie. Okay. Barely anybody calls me Annette, so you can call me Annie if you want to. You said that your friends call you Annie. I did. So that would make me... A friend now? We barely know each other. Yeah, but I can read people pretty well. I'm an empath, and I know a good person when I see one. See. I like you. Marion loses her grip on her sponge and drops it on the floor, scrambles to pick it up. Huh? I like you. Okay. Do you like me? Marion loses her grip on her sponge rag again and repeats the whole process. I don't really know you. <laughs> First impression then. What's your gut instinct. I don't know. You seem nice. You're friendly. You don't like friendly? No, I do. I, uh, do you talk to everybody like this? <laughs> like what? So, uh, just like this right now. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Why? Did you want to be special? An awkward pause. Marion keeps scrubbing. I knew it, though. What? That something like this would happen with my shirt. When I woke up this morning, I just had this sense that it was all going to go wrong. You did? How? Well, you see, this is my unlucky necklace. <laughs> it is? I didn't know for sure, but... The last few times I wore it, something bad always happened. So in the back of my mind, I was always like, this is an unlucky necklace. So I didn't wear as much because wear it as much as I used to, even though I really liked it. Then today I had this new shirt and this necklace goes really well with it. It does. Thank you. And I was like, well, you never definitively proved that it's unlucky. It could just be a coincidence. So gosh darn it, Annie, you wear this necklace. It'll be fine. And then this happens. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine. It's just a blouse. And as you said, it wasn't my fault. It's the necklaces. <laughs> now you're getting it. They smile at each other, close. 
That's when Joy bursts in decked head to toe in her princess costume. She looks miserable, hops up on the windowsill and produces a cigarette. Annie and Marion stare at her. Mind if I smoke? Well, you know, there's actually a lot of flammable puppet parts around here. Lots of felt, fabric, wool, paper. Joy ignores her, opens the window a crack, and puts a cigarette in her mouth. What are you looking at? The two ladies smile. Marion's hand absentmindedly grips the edge of Annie's shirt, though she isn't wiping anymore. I think this is as good as we're going to get it. <laughs> I should get back. Wouldn't want Polly the polar bear to throw a fit. <laughs> that would be unbearable. <laughs> That's pretty good. You just thought of that? I guess. Unbearable polar bear. <laughs> You're really funny. I am. Yeah. Annie starts to walk away. You know what? What? Maybe this necklace isn't so unlucky after all. It wasn't? I met you, didn't I? See ya. Annie leaves. Yeah. See ya. The word of the day is lighter, kids. Can you say lighter? <laughs> Can you find my lighter? Where? Where, where's, my, where's my lighter? As Joy searches, Marion looks down at the stained coffee rag. We cut to her on the train, above ground. She looks out the window, daydreaming, watching the sights pass by. We cut to another one of her fantasies. I knew that I'll never see you again. Of course you will. What if something happens to you? Hear this now. I will always come for you. How can you be sure? This is true love. You think this happens every day? The puppets lean in to kiss. Hold it. Hold it. What is this? Are you trying to trick me? Where are the sports? Is this a kissing story? Huh? You said this was going to be an exciting story filled with excitement and adventure. I did? Uh-huh. When? Where are the pirates? Where are the knights? Where is the anything? I... Oh, she left. Who are you again? Noah. Other thing? No, that's done now. What? No, it's done now. And besides, don't you have a boyfriend? Back to reality. Interior, Marion and Douglas's kitchen night. They're cooking dinner together. Uh, can you pass me the oregano? Huh? Uh, the oregano, babe. Can you pass it over here? I kind of have my hands full. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, are, you, are you all right? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, you know me. I like to check. Yeah, I know. That's one of your many redeeming qualities. Oh, thanks. He kisses her cheek, a pause. He can't let it go because he knows something is up. Is it work? Huh? What? Work? No, no, no. Of course not. Why would it be work? I don't know. I see you everywhere else, and everything is all... Peaches and cream here, so it would have to be work, right? Oh, yeah. It, it's just crazy right now. They're trying to film everything, and the deadline is coming up to have them all done, and we haven't even started working on what we're doing for the Thanksgiving parade. I'm kind of split in a thousand different directions at once. Sounds tough. It is. But if anyone can handle it, you can. I don't know. Maybe me at home? But me at work? It's like I'm a whole different person. I just kind of stand there not saying anything like an idiot because I somehow fell into working at a place I always dreamed of working at since I was a little girl and I don't want to fuck it up. You're, you're not going to fuck it up. I don't think you've ever fucked up anything in your life. Not that you know of. 
feel like I've known you pretty well after four years. Uh, four and a half. Really? Yeah. I guess after all that time, you know me as well as I know myself. I should hope so. Uh, Mary, you've only been there a year. Two. Two. Oh, wow. Time really flies, huh? Anyway, what I'm getting at is that you're a production assistant now, but you're not going to be one forever. Soon they'll see what I see in you, and then the world is your oyster. He holds up a well-plated seafood pasta dish and winks. This guy is too perfect. This makes it worse. I don't think anybody says world is your oyster thing anymore. Well, I do. I'm bringing it back. He offers her a fork full of pasta and she takes a bite, swallows and smiles. It's good. Really? Awesome. But don't thank me. That was all Bobby Filet. I'll write him a letter. A beat. They both go about plating and cleaning. So the redeeming qualities long? Very. Multiple pages? Longer. A whole scroll. Ah, parchment. We love a good throwback to ancient times. Oh, uh, speaking of... I have my online DMD sesh with my old work friends tonight. I spaced on it and honestly just remembered when I started the sauce. Now, I don't have to go. I can totally skip if you want me to. Truthfully, I hate the whole online tabletop thing. There's something lacking without the whole being in the same room thing. No whimsy, no mirth. It's kind of meh. Nah, it's fine. Go play. I have work stuff to do anyway. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. Go save, uh... Galforland. Galforland. Thanks, hon. He kisses her and retreats into the office with a plate. The door closes, Marion sighs. She notices a wooden spoon in front of her on the counter. She then takes two small forks and moves them to either side like arms. Reaching into her pocket, she pulls out a small container and puts two googly eyes on the spoon makes it wave at her. Interior, children's TV studio day. We see the catastrophe that is the children's show filming. Jenkins walks down craft services gathering various baked goods in his shirt. Deja pops in an actor's green room and steals loose change that was on their vanity. Jenkins and Joyce smoke cigarettes in a dressing room closet. Standing on chairs, they try to force their smoke through a vent. Marion steals glimpses of Annie. Sean yells at people. Charlotte watches from some, some distance away, looking bothered, potentially for more reasons than one. Annie, from across the set, catches Marion's eye and smiles, waves. Marion waves awkwardly back. Declan thinks she's waving at him, so he waves back. Marion panics and hurries away, leaving a confused Declan to turn around, face Mira, and wave at himself, sadly. What are you doing? Is there something wrong with me? Yes. Oh. Uh, but there's something wrong with everybody. Yeah, I guess so. What's wrong with you? Excuse me? I... Uh, it said there's something wrong with everybody, not me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I misunderstood. It's okay. Come here. She hugs him. He's all too happy to accept it. He melts into it. Good hug, Deja. Don't mention it. She walks away. We see she's holding his wallet, and he's unaware that she has it. Declan lifts up his dust bunny puppet. You're a good hugger, too, D. Thanks, Dust Bunny. You're the best. Meanwhile, being filmed... Don't stop! You have to keep going, Tyler Turtle! Just because you're not the fastest runner and won't win doesn't mean that you won't finish the race! But I'm so slow, Polly Polar Bear. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not very fast either, Tyler. It does, but just a little bit. 
You're not as slow as me. None of None us, of are, us the are the same. same. That's what makes us all special. You're probably right. While not winning the race might make you a little sad, not finishing something that you set out to do will make you even sadder. Polly Polar Bear is right. Wow. I never thought of it that way. Do you feel better now? I do. I really do. Hooray! I, I will finish. Well, that's Yay! great! Yay! Ta oh! Oh! Hey, hey, what the fuck, man? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. I'm right next to you, you moron. I mean, we're just so scrunched up back here, and I'm looking at the script edits over here, and you're looking at the cards over there because you don't use the sheet. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you blaming me? Uh, oh, no, of course not. Not at all. Not at all. It's my fault. I just didn't. I. Look, look we do this every day. Every, every goddamn day. This, this shouldn't happen. It was an accident. What is it, Sean? This fucking idiot stepped on me. I apologize. Fuck your apology. <laughs> oh, well, somebody shut that kid up. You're just scaring her. Well, life is scary. She's a kid in the entertainment industry. She better get used to it. Sean. How did you manage to step on me when we're both kneeling? Jesus Christ. Now, everybody take 10. Thank God. I'll just hobble back to my dressing room. I swear, Jenkins, if it's broken, you're paying for every last physical therapy appointment. He storms off. Jenkins looks worriedly to the director. It's not broken. You heard him. Everybody take 10. Jamie continues to cry. Beside her slowly, Tyler Turtle raises up. Marion watches. Don't cry, Jamie. I thought you did a really nice job. How old are you? Five. Oh, wow. Well, I don't have fingers, but I bet that's a lot. Miss Annie. Oh, oh, wow. That is a lot. You're a big girl. Do you help Mommy and Daddy a lot? Mm-hmm. A lot. My mommy's going to have a baby. Oh, wow. You're going to be a big sister. That's exciting. Are you excited? Uh-huh. I've never been a big sister before. It's my first time. I bet you'll be oh so good at it. I'm a big brother, too. I have 109 little brothers and sisters. <laughs> Jenkins, hiding behind the barrier where he controls the turtle puppet, catches Marion's eye and gives her a little smile and a thumbs up. Marion returns it. Interior, Charlotte's office day. Marion walks by Charlotte's office, sees her inside pouring liquor into her mug. So you gonna come in or are we gonna waste time with this back and forth? Oh, I, uh... Everyone be careful. We have a master concert conversationalist on our hands. All right, come on, come on. Marion enters the room and stands there awkwardly, a beat. Sit. Marion does so. You want another drink? Or one that drink? Work? Oh, I didn't ask where we were. I asked if you wanted a drink. No, uh, no thanks. All right, suit yourself. No one cares if you drink like that? Like what, with my mouth? No, uh, out in the open like that, here! A writer passes by, poking his head in the doorway. Uh, Char, we've got a meeting about edits for scene 4.1 in 25 minutes, conference room C. She takes a drink from the small liquor bottle in front of the other writer who is unaffected. Got it! The writer leaves. Any other dumb questions? No. When you've worked here as long as I have and you've seen what I've seen, you drink too. Or maybe like everybody else, you'll find another vice. Just then, Annie walks by in the hall, talking to someone in the office across from Charlotte's. Marion looks over her shoulder, watching her. Annie smiles, waves at her. Charlotte notices this. Maybe you already have. Huh? Careful. What? Listen, usually I don't give out these gems of advice for free, but uh, just be careful. With what? Charlotte calmly gets up and closes the door. 
the Zoe Deschanel knockoff you keep making goo goo eyes at. What? I'm not. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Not here. Not in my office. It's a sacred place. One of the items hanging on the wall falls to the floor. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not doing anything. Not intentionally, maybe. Not at all. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'm gonna tell you something I wish somebody told me way back when. Don't shit where you eat. Huh? Just don't do it. I don't understand. Just then, the door swings open. It's Sean. Uh, hey, Shar. Uh, I was thinking about that scene about sharing, and I was thinking it could, it could use some tweaks. Uh, it's weird that, you know, I don't say much in it. I mean, the kid has more lines than I do. How does that make any sense, right? Polly Pol Poly Polar Bear is the name of the show, so he has to do the talking, right? Hey, what do you think? Who? Me? Yeah. Did I stutter? What do you think, uh, uh, Coffee Girl? Marion. Yeah, right. Whatever. What, what do you think? About the scene or that Polly Polar Bear is the name of the show? Anyways, uh, again, um, it's in the title, so looking it over, I was like, obviously you made a mistake. So I just wanted to come over here and point that out uh, to you before somebody else did, uh, you know? Charlotte doesn't answer. She pretends to work on something. So if you could work on that with the rest of the Geek Squad and get over those rewrites, uh, get those rewrites over to um, uh, the, the pretty little number who writes them out, whatever her name is, uh, uh, Glasses. Annie. Uh, that might be it. Yeah. So can you do that like uh, ASAP, Char? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Writers. Page. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, you should write that into an episode sometime. Uh, what do you think? Um, Marion? Yeah, right. Uh, I knew that. Uh, anyways, um, glad I could be a help. I know that uh, you're eyeing that head writer position and you, you'll never get it with these kinds of mistakes. So um, you're welcome. Sean leaves. You don't like him, do you? Look who has eyes and ears. He's the star of the show. So you were listening to his whole TED talk just now, huh? It's just, if you hate him, why work here? Call me old fashioned, but I don't believe I should have to leave a dream job just because some guy is an idiot. If I did that, I would have nowhere to work. I don't think that's old fashioned. I think old fashioned would be leaving. Huh. So. You want to be head writer? Is this surprising? Kind of. You just always seem like you hate it here. No, 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 no. I hate some of the people here and the way things are done. There's a difference. Are you going to tell me to smile now? No, I... <laughs> Listen, relax. I am kidding. Yes, when Rupert retires from his Supreme Court appointment as head writer here, I want that position. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to make something very clear. I will never ever have that head writer position. And the reason for that just left the room to go ruin someone else's day. But he's just an actor. That's not fair. Oh, the world isn't fair and the entertainment world is the most unfair of all. I see. Do not shit where you eat, Marion. A light knocking on the door. Liam pokes his head in. He's energetic, cheery, and has an accent. Sorry to bother. Hello, ladies. I'm Liam. They both stare at him. Is that supposed to mean something to us? I, uh, oh, sorry. I, uh, don't usually have to give my last name out. Um, have to admit it's refreshing. Been a long time since I've said it myself. Usually just folks just recognize the mug. Nice mug that is. All the credit goes to my mum, though. Didn't get many of my dad's genes, thank the Lord. Not from around here, huh? <laughs> what gave it away? Oh, no, sorry, I do trail on and on, don't I, eh? Uh, name's Young, Liam Young, and uh, I'm a football player. But that's not what you call it here, is it? Uh, the state's uh, completely different. I uh, always forget, uh, you call it soccer here, yeah? Uh, it sounds right, soccer. I play soccer and uh, play for Liverpool, normally New Zealand when it's cup season, but that's uh, pretty rare, rare for us, I'm ashamed to say. The two women stare at him. Ah, look at me spinning a yarn again. Apologies, ladies, I'm Liam, Liam Young. You said that. Oh, right, I did. 
Um, uh, so right, I'm supposed to film today with a turtle, turtle and a bunny. Dust bunny. Ah, right. I'm supposed to report here, but I've got a bugger all idea of where that is, where I am and where I'm supposed to be. A writer pokes their head in. Char, Jazz is looking for you. All right then, well my office is officially too crowded, everybody out. Charlotte stands up and walks into the hall. Liam follow, follows. Follow me. Oh, that's this is bloody great of you, bro. You're right, it is, and don't call me bro. Oh, sorry, folks of habit, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, I'm not a bro. No, you are. Most certainly are not. Interior, children's show studio, outside restroom. <sighs> Marion walks by and notices the director banging on the door. She's not going to come out. Come out of there right now. Give me a second. Two seconds. We're already two hours behind. Well, it's like what they say, you know, like when you're early, you're late. And when you're on time, you're on time. And when you're late, hur just, you know, hurry up and keep waiting. That's not how it goes. The fire alarm goes off. Are, are you smoking in there? Uh, no. I think, I think she's smoking in there. No shit, Jenkins. Lawrence, there's no one on set. We're all just standing around. No shit, Declan. Our Princess Joy won't come out. Oh, dear. <sighs> For a princess, I don't feel like much of one right now. That's because you're not, Joy. If you're a princess, you're the oldest one I've ever seen. None of this is real. It's a character and one that you can barely play as it is. The only reason you have this role is because the lady we got 25 years ago didn't fit into the dress anymore. <gasps> and you happen to be the right size. You didn't win this role through any acting ability. You got it because you could fit in a medium. So get your medium ass out of the bathroom right this instant. It's a, it's nice, a nice ass. A beat. Joy finally emerges. Not very nice. Keep that in mind for future alterations. Let's get this sinking ship moving. Everyone disperses, talking at once. He didn't have to be so mean. I know. Marion stays behind with the director. Sinking ship? Kid, I hate to break this to you, but we've been limping to the finish line for the past five years. A kid's show can't run with the same characters, the same plot, the same niceties for 30 years, let alone a children's show. We've been heading to the gallows for ages now. This was set up to fail, eventually, from the start. Unless we, we find something new that resonates with today's generations, we're screwed. And honestly, looking around, is that really a bad thing? Losing our jobs, yes. You can always find another job. I'll write you a wreck, whatever you want. What I want is to work here. Well, I want a non-daytime Emmy. Looks like we're all not getting what we want. Director walks away, leaving Marion behind. She catches Annie's eye, who has been watching. They both go their separate ways. Interior, children's show, television set, day. Liam in front of cameras with the puppets. He's wearing his soccer jersey. And action. This is our special friend, Mr. Liam Young. Hi, Mr. Liam. Hey there, Cala Kitty, Dust Bunny. How are you? Mr. Liam, you talk funny. Dust Bunny. Oh, no worries. Miss Kitty, people say that to me all the time. Dust Bunny I sound different because I have an accent. An accent? Yeah. We all grew up in New Zealand. And most everybody talks the way I do. In fact, to me, you have an accent. I do? Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Dust Bunny. It's a good thing. It is? Yeah. Having an accent makes me the same and unique all the same time. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I guess so, Mr. Liam. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Dust Bunny. 
Is New Zealand very far away? Just yes, buddy. Oh, sorry. Look sorry. At, you go on. Well, it's okay. Look at this globe. We see Charlotte with other crew members in the back in the dark. He's he's good. He's he's pretty good. He's hot. I mean, good too, but he's hot. Yeah, I guess if you're in the whole nice guy, very sweet, charismatic athlete thing. I think that's everybody's thing. Liam's eye catches Charlotte. They both smile a little bit. Charlotte catches herself and looks away. Interior, lunchroom, TV studio. Marion sees Annie eating lunch by herself. She brought her own lunchbox, which is an old school plastic one from the 90s with cartoon cartoons on it. Marion hides behind a pillar, trying to figure out a plan of attack. She closes her eyes, everything fades away, and another fantasy. Any puppet sits alone at the lunch table. Marion Puppet approaches. Who is it? Marion Puppet holds up a sign that reads, Say it's carol singers. It's carol singers. Well, give them a dollar and tell them to get out. <laughs> Director Puppet flails his arms and runs off like a Muppet. Marion Puppet sets down a boombox and presses play. The music starts. Marion Puppet holds up signs one by one. They read, With any luck by next year, I'll be going out with one of these. She shows a sign that is plastered with photos of different lady Muppets like Miss Piggy, Janice, etc. But for now, let me say, without hope or agenda, just because we're in the cafeteria and in the cafeteria you tell the truth? To me, you are perfect. Will you go to lunch with me? Back to the real world, Marion chickens out and walks around the pillar as if to leave, but Annie standing right there. Hi! Hi! Do you want to have lunch with me? Yeah! Yeah, I do! They sit down and have lunch together. We see Annie and Marion leave work together. At the subway stop, they hug and go their separate ways after hugging. After a moment, they come back and grab some dinner to eat it together in the park. They're having a grand time laughing and chatting. Interior, Marion's apartment night. Marion has dinner with Douglas. She is way less animated and has barely touched her food. He notices this but chooses to remain cheery instead. Later, Douglas is sound asleep in bed and Marion is wide awake. After she tosses and turns, looks at her alarm, she gets up, gets dressed, and heads out. Interior, puppet workshop, late night. Marion sneaks in, but someone is already there. Well, 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 look who it is. Hey, I didn't think anyone else would be here. I'm always here. Yeah, I should have known better. What are you working on? Just patching up old Mr. Grumpy Goose here. He's seen better days. Then again, I guess this is one of the many reasons that he's grumpy, right? Um, what time is it anyways? What I am. Oh my, that's late. I always lose track of time when I'm working. It's easy to up here. You're telling me. It's been a minute since you've stopped by. No, I've just been busy with things. That'll happen. But what about you? You look pretty busy yourself. Just the usual patchwork and self-introspection. Deep. Tedious, time-consuming, but worth it. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Dee, you've been on the show for so long. 23 years this November. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to uh, work somewhere else? Me? Oh, no, never. This is all I know. I can't imagine being anywhere else. Uh, where else is better than imagination land? Alfred land, maybe? What? Oh, nothing. You can be anything in imagination land. I know it might not mean much to you. You youngins here these days are so pessimistic about everything. But to, to kids, it's everything. We've created a world where 
anything is possible. The sky's the limit. There must have been a time when you felt that way, you know? When you thought you could do or be anything? Yeah. And what stops you from being that way now? I don't know. Reality, maybe? Reality is to exist. You exist just fine. You're in charge of the terms, so change them. How the heck are you a bunny and not a philosopher? Technically, I have a degree in both. Both utterly useless, if you ask my parents. That'll show them. He holds up the tidied up puppet. What do you think, Marion? You look great, Grumpy Goose. Thank you. Now go away. Jacqueline tucks away the puppet. What about you? Huh? Why do you ask? Do you want to be somewhere else? No, I like it here. Someone else then? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, I didn't until recently. Or maybe deep down I always wanted to be, but just didn't let myself. And what's stopping you? Reality. I just want to be more than I am in so many ways. Well, that is a toughie then. How does one be more than they are? Perhaps with a little... Inspection? A good start. A very good start. Don't worry, kiddo. You'll figure it out. How's this? She holds up the puppet she was working on. It's essentially a puppet version of her. Oh, very original. I can see you dug deep for that one. We see Marion juggling her apartment life with Douglas and also her work wife life with Annie. The cast and crew of the show also struggle to get along. Time passes. Interior, Charlotte's office day. A rapid, bold knock to a made up melody. Charlotte looks up. Hey there, am I disturbing you? Frequently. What are you doing here? You're not scheduled to film today. Ah, so you know my schedule then. She says nothing. Oh, I was actually just in the neighborhood um, down the street. I uh, had to do live with Kelly Ripper and uh, the other bloke. Uh, and I uh, figured, why not drop by? Why? Exactly. Uh, well, you see, my dear niece is turning six and she absolutely uh, bonsai for this show. Um, her room is practically all poly polar bear merch. <laughs> you mean she didn't want her dear uncle's face plastered all over her room? <laughs> Sad to say, no. Um, and believe me, I tried. Uh, Polly Polar Bear from head to toe. So, you think you can help me out? You want me to steal something from the set for your niece? Well, I was thinking more so a uh, gift shop. But uh, now that it's out there, yes, uh, please steal something for my niece. And then you'll go? I will be out of your hair. Swear it, my words as good as gold. Fine. She gets up and leads him through the hall. Come on. Oh, that's real choice of you, Cher. Charlotte. Charlotte, right. At least it wasn't bro this time, right? Haven't called you that once. He can be taught. She brings him into the puppet workshop. Marion is in there cleaning up. Oh, is this where all the magic happens? Sure. Wow, this is like your guy's pitch then. Actually, I think the set downstairs would be our uh, pitch. You've already been there, done that though, haven't you? This is more so uh, our locker room? Oh, sweet. Oh, here we go. She hands him a puppet. Wow. One of the crabs from the Christmas special a year ago. I doubt we'll miss one. So cool. It's a crab. Oh, she'll love this. Okay. Liam puts the crab puppet on his hand and begins to make it talk. He thinks he's doing a voice, but really it's just him. Oh, oh uh, hold on. Uh, uh, e e hey there. I'm called the crab. Reminding you to share, care, and, um... Stare? Hey, that works. Mm. Oh, not even a little crack of a grin, huh? I don't smile. I uh, tried it once. It's not for me. Oh, it's 
a bummer. Huh? But it's a real nice one as all. Well. How are you so grumpy, but you write such fun characters? Women contain multitudes. I agree. Good thing for me, I enjoy layered things. People, cakes, pies, sundaes. Good for you. Go out with me. No. The two leave. Marion is alone. She notices her puppet from the other night. Puts on, notices another puppet with glasses similar to Annie's. Puts that on the other hand. Hey there, what's wrong? Well, I'm having a really tough time, Marion. You probably can't relate at all. Try me. Well, I'm having really strong feelings that I don't know how to explain, and I feel like I'm drowning all by myself. The director rushes past the door, notices Marion, stops, and watches from a distance. <laughs> well, you know, Puppet, the best way to handle big feelings that you don't know how to handle is to talk to someone. It is? Yep. I think you'll find in being open and talking about those feelings, you'll feel better and may even start to understand them yourself. Wow, you're right, Marion. I will. I'm going to do that. Great. And remember to share them with someone you trust. That way you have a safe, sp safe space to explore them. Thanks, Marion. No problem. If you're happy, I'm happy. And if you're sad or confused or whatever else, I'm here for you. I'm here for you too. She makes the puppets hug. Say, you're really good at that. Marion, in a panic, hides the puppets. No, no, you're not in trouble. That was really good. Thank you. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I... Did... Did you make that? Yeah, I did. With D. I, I mean, Declan. Dust Bunny. Yeah, I, I know who, who Declan is. It's interesting. We, we don't tend to have puppets that look like people on the show. I don't know. I guess I just figured it would be easier for kids, for kids to relate to. Seeing someone that looks like them going through the same things, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I know. Keep it up. The director leaves. Once he's out of sight, Marion rushes over to wherever Annie is in the studio to tell her. <laughs> Mare, what is it? You're not going to believe it. I barely believe it. What? What? What is it? You have to tell me. You saw my puppet. The one I made? Don't ask me how, but he liked it. He liked it a lot. I, well, I think he did. Now, I'm not sure, but good to keep it up. Oh my gosh! We have to celebrate! Now? Right now? No, not right this second, but soon. After work. Dinner and drinks on me. I... I can't. You can't. Annie looks a bit down and out. Instantly, we're kicked into Marion's fantasy world again. The puppets are outside a restaurant in the doorway. Give me your hand. Now, close your eyes. Go on. Now, step up. Now, hold on. Keep your eyes closed. Don't peek. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes closed. Do you trust me? All right. Open your eyes. The puppets are in the restaurant. Back to reality. Not right after work. I have something to do first, but tonight I can. Would eight work? Eight would be perfect. It's a date. Date? Interior. Marion and Douglas's apartment evening. Marion hurries into her apartment, chucking her things. She finds Douglas and gives him the biggest hug. Whoa, what's this for? You're not going to believe this. I don't even believe it. What? What happened? I had the best day at work. The director saw my puppet I made and he really liked it. I mean, really liked it. He knows my name. 
and I'm the first one hearing this amazing news? Yeah! That's great, hon. This calls for a celebration. Where's that champagne we saved for the 2016 election? We finally have a reason to open it. Oh, I, I can't. Can't? I mean, not tonight. Do you have other plans or something? Oh, no, not that. I, I think I oversold it is all. It was a nice thing, but I, it was just that. Just a little nice thing. Let's save the champagne for a big nice thing, you know? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, we can have a little celebration tonight, then. I can order something? Oh, that would be great, except I... I... Except what? I have to go back to work. This late? Well, it's like you said, things are really kicking off for me, and I don't want to let the momentum slide, you know? Yeah, I know. Thanks, babe. I'll be home later. She gives him a quick kiss on the cheek and rushes out. Okay, I'll see you later. Exterior, Charlotte's office night. Charlotte steps inside to find there are flowers everywhere. Uh, did I die? Is this a memorial to me or? Oh, 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 did Rupert die? No, they're for you. All of them, they're all for you. Lucky bitch. Easy, your highness. What will the kingdom think? Who are they from? Who do you think they're from? They're from Mr. Perfect. Is is that a doctor on Grey's Anatomy or something? <laughs> no. No, 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 girl. No. From none other than Liam Young. <laughs> you think he has money? You have to go. Uh, see, that's where you're wrong. I don't have to do anything. Oh, come on. I have you haven't been on a date in forever. Help. You know what? You haven't been on it out in forever. You're always here. Just go. How many chances are you going to pop up that you can go out with a real life celebrity? As a writer for a kid's morning time program, I imagine the opportunities are limited. So call him and go. What? So I can get like free stuff? No, because you like him. <laughs> what? No, I do not. I don't. You. you. What, what makes you so sure of that anyway? <laughs> because I've worked here for ages and i've never seen you smile once like you are right now call him charlotte eyes joy's dress do you ever take that thing off <laughs> i'm not a princess without it interior television studio day things as usual are amok something is on fire <laughs> cut cut joy what did I say to you about cigarettes in the studio? Hmm? I know. I tried to hide it in my pocket when you came by. It was still lit. I've never seen anyone on fire before. Externally. God help me, Lawrence. I can't work like this. Someone take Joy to first aid. <sighs> now! Joy is led away. Charlotte notices Sean flirting with young female interns. She looks away. S sir, we're already two hours behind. We're already, we're always two hours behind. Uh, be that as it may, tomorrow's a holiday, so you're you're heading into double overtime and... Uh... Mm, I don't like that land, not one bit. He scans you. the room, notices Marion. You? Me? Yeah, you, Marion. Marion. That's me. I know. Is your puppet upstairs? I, uh... It is. What puppet? Well, go upstairs and get it. Is this it, sir? Annie uh... appears holding the Marion puppet. Great. You're going to go on the left, next to Declan. He will take care of you there. Me? Next to Declan? Is there an echo in here? Over here, Marion. Marion goes, kneels behind the barricade, puppet in hand. Huh. You seem like a smart lady. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. 
The lines are taped here and here, but they're also here. Everyone just replace every line that says Princess Joy with, uh, well, what's your puppet's name? Marion. <laughs> Original. Everyone places, Mark. Annie hands the puppet to Marion. Good luck. Good luck is bad luck. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, break a leg. <laughs> Thanks. We'll take it from Carla Kitty's line and action. Oh, no, everyone. We're in big trouble. Cicely Snake trusted us with her prize shredded skin, and we lost it. What do we do? Pause. Marion is frozen. Marion? What do we do? New friend Marion, what do we do? Well, you guys, my mom always told me that honesty was the best policy. Maybe if we tell Cecily that it was an accident, she'll be far more forgiving than if we lied to her. Better yet, she may help us look. That's not what the script says. She's off book. Holy fucking shit, balls and cock. Ultimately, making friends is easy. Keeping them is hard work. But that's why they call them best friends, because you put the work to maintain that relationship. I wouldn't want to destroy our relationship with Cecily Snake by lying to her, would you? No. No, I wouldn't. Uh, you heard my new friend Marion Gang. Let's all go tell Cecily Snake, and maybe we can all look together. Yay! Yay! Friends are where your home is, and you never want to shit where you eat. But, fabulous, just fabulous. We can't use that last part unless we want to get sued, but the rest was great. Oh, that's a, a wrap. Excellent job, everyone. Now, Marion, Marion, that was great. Didn't know you had it in you. That's a wrap. Thank God. That was really good stuff. It touched me. It resonated. You know, uh, I stole your wallet. Um, wow. I feel better now. Uh, you did great, kid. Thanks. Really, really good. Wow. Never seen a rookie do something like that and live to tell the tale. <laughs> That's because she's special. Well, whatever the reason, I think this calls for a round of drinks not in my office. Yay! Hey. <laughs> free things. Free things. Free things. Free things. Free things. Free things. Yeah! Bar evening. We see a series of clips of all the cast downing shots and drinks at the bar. All sorts of debauchery. It is insanity. A whirlwind of utter chaos with them getting more obliterated by the minute. Joy sits at the bar in a regular dress but still wearing her crown. Jenkins nervously approaches her. Hi. <clears throat> uh, you, you may not know me, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the show. We actually have a lot of scenes together. Well, Anyways, I'm just... <laughs> you want to make out? You know what? I would love to do that. <laughs> they start making out. We see Declan and Charlotte at the other end of the bar. <laughs> I mean it. That episode you wrote about the election was really great. Oh, you don't, you don't have to say that, Dee. Nah, I mean it. I know people gave you shit for it, like it was too much for the kids, but... I, for th one, think it was one of your best. Thanks, I appreciate that. I like it when we don't talk down to kids, but to them, you know? Yeah, I know. Because life is filled with all sorts of terribleness, and we have to prepare them for that, but not scare them. We have to send these kids out into the world prepared. Charlotte's eyes wander toward the bathroom where Sean is making out with a very young woman. She turns serious, as if to stand and say something, but then doesn't. I gotta go. So soon? Yeah, I just I just have to get out of here, you know? Uh, can you cover my tab? I'll Venmo you. I don't know what that is, but uh, I know you're good for it. You're a man of a different time, Dee. She pats him on the back and leaves. 
We see Annie and Marion outside. They're both tipsy. You were so good today. Thanks. I mean, like, really good. Thanks again. For what? We're saying that. Wait, it's true. Other people must tell you that. Yeah, they do sometimes, but I don't know. It just means more coming from you, I guess. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. I feel the same way. About what exactly? Are we talking about the same thing? Annie leans in and kisses her. Marion, after a moment, kisses back. They start to get carried away. Exterior, Charlotte's office. Charlotte walks into her dark office, plops down, looks around at all of the flowers, picks up the phone and dials. Go, Philem. <laughs> hey. Who's this? Uh, the girls who, whose office you flooded with flowers. Which one? <laughs> Relax now. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Is it late where you are? Uh, about as uh, late as where you are, I imagine. Still in New York. Uh oh. Uh, why? Sorry for disturbing me. Just getting you back for disturbing me. Fair. So, might I inquire as to the reason for this late night call? I'll go. Where? Out. I'll go out. Oh, yeah? Once, uh, one time, my choice of date and time, and we will meet at a previously decided upon location, not my home. Okay, we'll be be making a drug drop of as well then. Take it or leave it. All right, fine, but I'll get to pick what we do. Within reason, of course. Fine. Fine. You like the flowers then? Anyone ever tell you that you can't buy a woman's affection? Uh, but apparently I can get a phone call. Back outside the bar, Marion pulls back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... Bye. As she walks away in tears, she is another fantasy. I've had a great many things. Well, I've done a lot of things. I've done one thing. We're going back to where you belong. But, Marion, no, I, I... You've got to listen to me. You have any idea what you have to look forward to if you wasted time on me? Nine chances out of ten, we both wind up in a whole lot of trouble. Isn't that true, Dee? I'm afraid so, Marion. No! His puppet runs off like Kermit. You're saying this only so we won't kiss no more. I'm saying this part of us people tonight. We can go part of people. A puppet Charlotte gives a thumbs up. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But still the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have a curbside pickup area where we made out. Here's needed. Exterior, Liam and Charlotte's date the town evening. He followed them all over. Occasionally he stopped for autographs which she te teases him about. He takes her to dinner. They go to the batting cages. It's a really spontaneous silly time but one thing worth noting is that she's smiling the entire time. Sorry that wasn't so bad was it? Uh, well I can think of a few worse things sure. Uh, so was it the kind of not too bad where you would want to repeat sometime? Maybe. Like, say, next week, same time? And if I say no? I'll cry. It won't be pretty, but I'll accept it. Good to know. She goes up the steps to her apartment, turns around. Okay, I'm in. Awesome. Real shame, though. Huh? I am 
unbelievably handsome when I got me waterworks going. Interior, Marion Marion and Douglas's apartment, night. She comes in, it's late. He's already there. Oh, I didn't think you'd be up. Were you counting on that? Marion, I'm not stupid. I know something is going on. Why won't you talk to me? Is it another guy? No. But what is it? I'm gonna go stay with a friend for a bit. Give you some space to figure things out. That's what I should do, right? <sighs> right. He leaves. Interior children's TV show studio, many days. Marion is thrown into more scenes at work, much to Sean's dismay. We start to see merch of her puppet character pop up and she notices it on the street. She's in the parade with the rest of the game. Things with Annie and her are non-existent. She avoids her every chance she gets. We're nominated for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Children's Programming. That's a mouthful. I can't remember the last time that happened. Well, that's fine, Dee. You can't remember a lot. The montage continues as everyone pats Marion on the back. Sean seeds. Marion is now doing TV spots, classroom visits, everything. It's called Polly Polar Bear, not Marion whatever. Interesting point, Sean. The director walks away. Tyler Turtle Puppet raises next to him. You may want to be careful, Sean. Might get us a name change. Jenkins smiles from ear to ear as Sean storms off, and a name change does indeed happen. The show is now Polly, Polar Bear, and Friends. The montage ends one late evening with Marion in the workshop. Night, Marion. Night, Dee. Don't stay too late now, you hear? A few moments pass. Annie then steps into view, quiet. Hi. Hi. You're avoiding me. Am I? You are. Why? Never mind. I know why. You're really good. W with the kids, I mean. Oh, thanks. How did you get so good with them? I guess I just feel comfortable when it's not really me doing the talking, you know? It's the puppet, not me. I don't regret it. Me either. Another fantasy, this one in the pouring rain. Why didn't you text me? Why? It wasn't over for me. I waited for you. But now it's too late. I thought about every day. I saved them in my draft. Your drafts? Yes. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. The two puppets kiss. Back in the real world, Marion and Annie kiss and then begin to disrobe. Exterior, Charlotte's Place night. Liam and Charlotte sit on the couch. I had a really nice time tonight. Well, me too. You know, I was thinking maybe in the off season I can make a little nest here. I kind of like the city. And also I heard that New York FC is going to be looking for some defenders in the new year. So maybe, I don't know, if that panned out, would that uh, be something that you're into? Like it all. Hmm. I, uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Bonza. He kisses her. They begin yeah. to get risque, yeah. but when his hands touch flesh, she stops kissing him. Hmm. What, what do I do? What do I do? M nothing. Do you, do you want a beer or, or a tea or, I don't know, anything at all? She gets up. After a moment, he follows. Sure, you don't think I'm a right egg, do you? What? A uh, 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 dick. 
You don't think I'm a dick? Not currently, no. You know, I'm trying not to sound like one. I mean, we've been dating for four months, and I think things have been going pretty well. They have. And, oh, good. And I don't mean to boast, but I thought they were, but I'm glad that you backed that up. But mm. anyways, it's been four months, and I certainly don't think I'm owed anything, so I don't want you to get that twisted, but every time, you know, we start to... You know, this happens, you know. Know what? If I'm doing something wrong, you tell me, right? You usually do, so I don't know why you would hold back here. You're not doing anything wrong. Well, clearly I am, because you nearly jumped out of your skin just then. I'm, I'm fine, Liam, really, seriously, I am fine, you are fine, it is, it's all fine. It dawns on him. Oh. Oh, shit, Cher. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Can we move past this, please? Who was it? Okay, uh, you need to leave. Oh, someone I know. Here's your coat. Have I met this person? Is someone at the show? Get out! I met him. Sure, I will. I beat him to a pulp. I swear on my honor. The machismo chest puffing is really something, but you need to go now. Now. Okay. Sha, I love you. I just want to take care of you and protect you. That's all. Maybe not with this particular thing, because it seems like you didn't really want to be talking about it. But with everything else, if you would let me, I'd like to do that. Let me, Sha. God damn it. I just want to I need to come up with the words. None come up. Don't call me. I will call you. She closes the door in his face. Back at the costume shop post hookup, they're putting on their clothes quiet. Was it? Are you? Gosh, I hope there are no cameras in here, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mayor. <laughs> there aren't. <laughs> Can you imagine though? Someone sneaking into steel puppets and felt what kind of weird job that would be. Are you going to say anything? No. Well. Okay. I wish you would. I hate the quiet. I can't stand it, actually. So... Are you okay? No. Good or bad no? Is there such a thing as a good no? I don't know. I like to think there is. You're really not going to say anything. We can't do that again. Agreed. I'm all for the thrill of getting caught, but this was far too close to home for me. It's like what Charlotte is always saying. What's that thing? Don't shit where you eat. Yes, that's it. I never got it until right now. So, next time, maybe dinner and drinks first, then one of our places? No. I mean, we can't do that again. Any of that. What? You didn't like it? No, I did, and that's the problem. There's a problem in liking something? Yes, I'm with Douglas. As far as I know, we're still together. We're just figuring things out. And you have one heck of a way of figuring things out. I'm sorry. You keep saying that. You keep apologizing. But there's nothing to be sorry for. You wanted to, I wanted to, so we did. I don't like this person that I am. I mean, I like me when I'm with you, but I don't like lying about who that person is. Then don't. It's not that easy. Why not? Just this whole situation with Douglas, with the show, I don't want to lose any of that. Maybe you'll gain a lot more too. Like what? You. I 
I like you, Mayor. And you like me. We are great together. And not just the sex, which is clearly very good, but everything. I want to be with you. But I don't want to hide it. I've done that enough. I understand that's not where you're at. But I can't rewind and relive the last years of my life over again. I can't be brave enough for the both of us if you were willing to give it a shot. But I can see from the way you're not even looking at me. You're not there yet. That's fine. Is it? No. But I'll grin and bear it. I'm a big girl. Well, now I feel kind of stupid. Why? For thinking that my necklace was lucky. Annie leaves. This time we just hear Marion's fantasy as a voiceover. The show continues on. Douglas moves back in and they try to make it work. We see everyone getting dressed up and ready. Charlotte looks at herself in the mirror. She can't do it. Joy appears in something that isn't her princess dress, but is the same color. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate it when you stare. I hate your big dumb glasses and the way you read my mind. I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me rhyme. I hate it. I hate the way you're always right. I hate it when you lie. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse when you make me cry. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you didn't call me. I hate the way I don't hate you. We now see Marion's fantasy with puppets. Not close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. Oh, I get it now. You're taking movie scenes and replacing words and phrases in them to make it pertinent to your situation. Whoa. Yeah, I get it now. Dust Bunny scurries away, leaving Marion alone, back to reality. Marion looks at herself done up in the mirror. It's daytime Emmys time. Interior daytime Emmys nomination party day. The group enters the party, safety in numbers. I'm excited. Dude, it's been a minute. Wouldn't you know it? I'm pretty stoked too. I think it's safe to say that we all are. Aren't you? I don't know. I'm waiting for something to go wrong. You're a real optimist, Char. Doing my best. I've got a good feeling about this year. Mm -hmm. Charlotte produces a drink from her purse. Oh, you did not just sneak a flask into a place that's going to serve us drinks for free. I am anything if not dependable. So, where's your boy toy? My guess, he's not coming. You uninvited him? No, what, what about you, Marianne? You excited for your first and possibly last daytime Emmys? I guess so. I mean, I don't really know what to expect. I've got a good feeling about this year. Yeah, you said that. Where's Sean? Yeah, shouldn't Polly Polar Bear himself be here? The show's only named after him. He never lets us forget it. He always comes to these things by himself. Oh, there he is, over there. Sure enough, there's Sean flirting with some of the young cocktail waitresses. This is enough for Charlotte. Excuse me. She downs a passing by flute of champagne and leaves. I've got a good feeling about this year. It is then that Marion sees Annie enter. She looks great, all done up. Still wears her glasses, though, because screw makeover movies. Marion, what do you think? I, uh, yes. Yes to what? I'll be right back. Marion approaches Annie. Hi. Hi. You look, you look nice. Thanks. 
You too. Thanks. I I miss our lunches. That's nice. Yeah. I don't know what you expect me to say to that. I don't know. I just wanted to tell you because it's true. Oh, and you are the pillar of honesty, aren't you? That's fair. I know. I miss our lunches, too. Before Marion can reply, Annie walks away. Jenkins pops up next to Marion before she can follow. Oh, man. These are the biggest shrimp I've ever seen. That's how you know a party is nice, the size of the shrimp. Joy pops up next to him. This is boring. Want to go make out? I would love to do that exact thing. All right, come on. She eats a shrimp out of his mouth and they hurry out. Charlotte in the bathroom near her. She looks at her face, tries to look happy, but can't. Suddenly, she is a woman possessed and hurries out. She passes by everyone with tunnel vision, heading right for Sean, who is clearly hitting on multiple young women again. She storms through them and pushes Sean back. Hey, 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 what gives? You know what gives. You know what you did. <laughs> Uh-oh. It looks like Char, as usual, has had too much to drink. What else is new? Uh, don't worry, everybody. She does this a lot. She gets tipsy and belligerent. And if it's not me, it's anyone else close enough for her to swat at. It's real sad. That is not true? Yeah, why don't you just do everyone a favor and get a life instead of obsessing over me? Shut up! Hey, she's just mad because we hooked up a few years ago and she was so sucky in bed. So I never called her back. She can't handle rejection. You write me, you stupid piece of shit. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Charlotte is grabbing more passing by drinks and downing them. A small crowd is beginning to form, including her cast and crew. <laughs> you see? You see? What did I tell you? She is crazy. It was lit. It was late. I stayed late a lot back then. I stay late now, but you, you stopped by my office and you offered to drive me home. Uh, you, you thought you could get the head writer job by sleeping with me. And then when you couldn't get either, you lost your damn mind. I was I was so excited because you were the star of the whole show. You told me I had promise that I was I was really good. You're the lead fucking bear on a kid's fucking show for God's sakes. You weren't gonna do anything, but I, I was I was wrong. Someone get her out of here. No, not anymore. I am not shutting up about it anymore. You stopped a block away from my house. You locked the door. You hung me down, and then Look, just because some slut, she launches on him. It all occurs in slow motion. It is insanity. As she does so, we hear kids from the show count with every landed hit. Four, five, six, seven, Someone pulls her off of eight, him and drags her away. Nine, ten, eleven. I'm not finished! No, I know. Honestly, I could have stopped you after the first one. But you were really into it. Liam? Yeah. Yeah. Me. You came? <laughs> of course I did. I promised you I'd be here, didn't I? I'm a man of my word. So here I am. Also, not for nothing, I'll clean up pretty nice. <laughs> she kisses him. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole day. Oh, well, that's you. Sorry. Oh, well, the whole day isn't entirely wasted then. Say, did anyone tell you one heck of a scrapper? Once or twice. You know, I hear. New Zealand football club may have a spot opening up. You should take it. Marion has been watching them. Later, the whole group is pushed out of the event and on the street. And stay out! Just like the other years. I swear I had a good feeling about this year. Oh, it felt so real. I mean, not for nothing, but that, that was pretty fun. I've never seen a daytime Emmys party like that. Ooh. I've never seen a daytime Emmys party. And now you never will. Where's Marion? Wasn't she with you? No. Maybe she left early. That party was kind of a dud until Charlotte started slugging people. That was awesome. 
Come on, let's go home. Everyone starts to follow the director. To your own homes. Cut to Marion running home. She bursts into her apartment. Doug! Doug! Doug? Doug! Uh oh. <laughs> Doug! Uh, I'm here, I'm here! What's going on? You're back from the party already? Oh no, did you lose? No, something even better. We started a fight and got kicked out. Oh, and that's good? Yeah, it's great. Because I realized something. Life is too short to waste time dwelling and wondering what if instead of doing. We all, we have to be doers. Hey Doug, I have to be a doer and not sit in the sidelines. I have to practice what Puppet Marion teaches all of the kids or what el what kind of teacher am I? Okay. So I have the best news. Lay it on me. We have to break up. Wait, what? Interior, children's show, producer's office morning. Charlotte stands there. We were the utter laughing stock. Invited guests, full grown adults sent to represent our show and network, tossling about like middle schoolers. Well, don't you have anything to say for yourself? I wish I hit him harder. Miss Hill. I know, I know, I know. I know what you want me to say. You want me to apologize, but I, I, I'm not sorry, not one bit. Even though you've had a night to reflect on it? Even more so not sorry about it now. I see. Well. In fact, I think you should be the one apologizing to me. Excuse me? Let's say for some reason, even if what happened by me never happened, you know, which it did. And honestly, if it happened to me, it probably happened to a number of others during this time here who are coming forward. So let's, let's pretend. We live in imagination land for real where it never happened. He was still a shit person to work with. Miss Hill. He talked down to everyone. He wouldn't use the teleprompter like a goddamned adult like everybody else. And he couldn't work with women in any capacity. Miss. If oh. anything, I freed you from a goddamn liability. So, uh, you're welcome. Miss Hill. What? Sean was terminated early this morning. An hour ago, in fact. And the character Polly goes with him. Uh-huh. It worked out in the end. He was a menace, and we fully intend on making it right and assisting you with pressing charges if that is what you choose to do. Oh. A blessing in disguise is how I see it. The show was overdue for a revamp, and this contract termination is just the thing we needed. Right. Well, I'm glad my trauma could help the show. I recall an episode that you penned a few years ago being particularly moving. Yeah. Rupert thought so, too. He recommended you for her his position he did before he passed oh he died last night oh yes yes oh i i mean i mean oh oh no that's that's terrible oh no the job is yours if you want it uh i only want it if i earned it you did then i want it exterior television studio street car charlotte gets into liam's car so how'd it go I still have my job, so there's that. Excellent place to start. Actually, better than my job. Come again. Rupert died last night. <laughs> Hell yes, I mean, <laughs> I mean, oh no, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. So you... Got the job. Ah. And I, and I... And earned... earned it. Earned it. So... Uh, New York FC's playing the Red Bulls tonight. If you want to catch it, I can get a seats. Oh, I'm good. I'm actually a season ticket holder. She shows him her wallet, which is actually Liverpool soccer themed. Yeah. The whole time? I never saw that. Well, you made sure that I would never have to pay for anything, so why would you? But you said you didn't follow football, soccer, whatever it is here. Oh. Yeah. Women contain multitudes. <laughs> yep. Then there's you. They smile. Interior, children's TV studio day. Marion finishes the scene and stands up, pats the back of all her co-workers. It's a way better atmosphere now. Need to work on your pitch, old man. 
Yeah, yeah. You young whippersnappers always busting my chops. No one says that anymore. I do. Good work today. I learned from the best. Declan leaves. Out of the corner of her eye, Marion sees Annie at the craft service table filling the coffee. She drops the canister and it spills. Oh, shoot. No, no, stop. Stop. Please stop. Oh, my God. Marion blinks. She's all of a sudden in her puppet fantasy world, but she's herself. She's no longer a puppet. In fact, everyone seems to be themselves. I, uh, I don't know what to do. What movie is this from? Oh, no. This one is all you, kid. Charlotte gives her a thumbs up. Marion turns back around to face Annie, only now she's back in the real world again. Takes a big breath, closes her eyes, opens them, takes a step out of frame, then hurries back, taking off her Marion puppet and putting it down. We see her walk toward Annie to help her with the coffee. As we watch them, they get bl blurrier and blurrier until we hear a young voice and a familiar one. Slowly, their images show on a TV screen that has the same texture as television from the early 90s. Do you know what love is? Love is when you care about someone so much that it feels like the whole weight of the world. Love is hugs and kisses and listening to them when they're sad. Love is understanding. Love is knowing everything and not knowing anything. Love is love. Oh, wow. That is a good answer. Thank you. Thank you for visiting me, Marion. I love you. I love you too, Dust Bunny. Little Marion hugs the puppet. The image slowly fizzes out of view and the TV turns off. Nothing. The end. Sunny days sweeping the clouds away On my way to where the air is sweet Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street?